to reconsider its ban on six African countries suspended from the continental body for engaging in military coups. The diplomats among them, the principal secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Karir Singhoi, who represented Prime Cabinet Secretary and Foreign Affairs CS, Musale Mudavadi, said there is need for engagement on the issue as majority of the continent youth want to live in democracies. They spoke during the third annual retreat of the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance Idea and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, hosted by the Government of Kenya and whose theme is addressing challenges to democratic governance in Africa. And the key question is, what do we do with these countries? Um, you know, what do we do to ensure that we bring them back to the African Union fold? Because when a coup has taken place, uh, under the AU law, these countries are essentially suspended from operations. The challenge is when they are suspended in that manner, there is no sense of engagement between the AU and these countries, and we are trying to bridge <coughs> that gap. You know, in our region, countries like Sudan, uh, South Sudan, in the West Africa, Burkina Faso, Mali, Gabon, uh, these are all the countries which continue to experience various forms of unconstitutional changes of government or ethnic conflict or military conflicts. Uh, some countries are suffering from really the, uh, the massive effect of extremism and violent extremism. So what we are talking about earlier is that 70% uh, of Africans, uh, particularly the youth, uh, who form the bulk uh, of the African population, uh, would like to live in democracies. We see Africa as a continent of opportunity, the continent of the future. When we look at your continent, we see a young, self-assured and increasingly well-connected population that is eager to apply its talents and develop its leadership to find solutions to Africa's challenges.